Well, howdy, howdy, partners. Welcome to the what, 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 wild, wild west. My name is San Francisco. We're going to be doing that Abraham Rehez missions, who is actually turned into quite the useful ally, as we will see in a very short seconds. How's everybody been? Been doing good, yeah? Been rocking and rolling, mate. Rocking and rolling. That's what I've been doing. Recording the second episode of today, or the fourth actually, did two GTA and GTA 3 and GTA Vice City, whatever. Did a couple of them, you know. So, yeah, we, we're gonna go talk to Mr. Abraham, who had many sons, and all that. He had many sons. Many sons have Father Abraham, you know what I mean? So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Keep it real. But wait, what? This is not the end. We just started. You're right, we just started. Doggy! The Great Mexican Train Robbery. Yee haw. Ow. I think something's wrong with me. Um, last night I started having these cramps in my arm. But they don't feel like they're in the muscle. They feel like they're in the bone. I'm starting to get a little concerned because it, it's like a deep throbbing pain in my arm. It's on my tricep. It's like right right where my tricep is feels like it's trying to to, to break itself oh. let's hope it's just uh my eating habits you know i ate a lot of ice cream yesterday and maybe my muscles are like no too much ice cream and they're building up lactic acid to burn the ice cream i don't know viva manico Liberta, liberta, liberta. From a French lady. Mm. Beep. Their energy is, 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 is like food to me. And it just comes and goes. Like, it's only happened like three times, but every time it happens, I feel like I need to lay down. It hurts so bad. Fair and you are such a. That's what they all say. Never mind. I know these lands. Sure, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is something else, but um, beggars can't be choosers, you know. I got out of prison. Well, exactly. I watched Star Crazy last night. That movie is so funny. <laughs> man. I forget, you know, it's Richard Pryor and Ed and Gene Wilder. I don't know why I said Ed Gein. I almost said Ed Gein. Gene Wilder, they um, they had a cool thing going, man. I, you know, if Richard didn't die, I I would love to have seen them like got back together, like Dumb and Dumber. You know, Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels coming back to do Dumb and Dumber too. I would love to have seen like a stir crazy too. Why is that dog out there? Why is there two dogs out there? Uh oh. We better get out of here. Looks like things are about to go down over there, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, don't follow me! Oh, no! <laughs> What's up, Abraham? Can't get a good look at you right now, but... Oh! They're not my friends. Yeah. A lot has changed since 1995. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. Huh. <laughs> so where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. Well, thanks. Tell me something I don't know. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very... Oh, watch what you're writing. Shut up. Finish your I statement. you're lying to me, Reyes. You'll really see the man I used to be. Ooh. Give you your friends, I promise. Well, how's that song go? I'm half the man I used to be. Half the man I used to be. Something like that, cause this is 90s music. Lost, angry, and forgotten. I love Snow Devil Pilots. They're so cool. And turn you into criminals. Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to the people who needed it. As I was saying in one of the last episodes, I think it was when I was recording my GTA Vice City episode, um, I mentioned that mixing is harder than people let on to be, and it really is, and that was one of the reasons I almost quit music yesterday. I was like, you know what, I can't do this. Screw this. I can't do it. 
You know, I don't have the patience. I, I can just barely play guitar well, let alone mix and produce it well. You know, that's a whole nother venture even in itself. You know, there's a reason why they have 10 to 15 people working on an album. Rather than just, you know, some kids out of their basement. But hey, you know, you work with what God gave you. And, you know, he gave me this passion, so I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to put in the man hours to do, to do this. And maybe, just maybe, we'll kiss a real girl. Actually, just maybe, just maybe somebody will hear it and like it. Because, man, I... Like, I like my job at, where I am at the pig. It's great. You know, it's... I mentioned before, you know, I don't have to think about it. And it's simple. It, why are we going so slow? It feels a little laggy right now. But... I want to be on the road so bad I can't stand it. You know, I want to tour with people. I want to meet people. I want to engage people. And I want to engage an audience musically. Like, that's what I want to do. It's not just about making money. If it was about making money, I would have stayed in school and been miserable my whole life. But no. No. No, that didn't happen. I just... Motorhead. That's a perfect example. That's a perfect example of what I want to do. Motorhead, what they've been doing for the last 10 years. Like, Lemmy's 60? 65? I don't know his exact age. I know he has a bus pass, so I know he must be over 60. So. Ow, my arm's doing it again. God. Ow! But they are a working, touring band. That's what I want to do. I don't know why. Why do I not want to just have a good retirement and s sleep all day and do nothing all day? You know, sit in a big house on the ocean and just watch the sun go down. Why do I want to be on the road doing that? I don't know. If I could ever answer that, I will answer it and maybe my life will be better if I can answer it. Then I'll answer it if I can answer it because I'll answer it. You know what I mean? Oh, are we there yet? <laughs> but what Motorhead has been doing is what I want to do. I just, I just want to be on the road touring. And people say, man, that is the hardest part. That is, you know, it's a tough life. I'm like, yeah, it is tough. You got to deal with a lot of crap. But it's that human interaction that I crave. I guess that's what it is to, to really feel appreciated, you know, make a difference in people's lives. I know there's a lot of things you can do dealing with the public. You know, you got public relations jobs, and you have, you know, a job like mine, you know, courtesy clerk. You know, you deal with people, and you help them out. And, you know, that's probably why I like my job so much, because I'm helping people. I'm engaging people. I meet people. And I guess just my dream job would be to do that from a musical standpoint. I don't know. But right now, we have a pretty intense cutscene, because he is shaking one mean finger at us. I can't really hear what he's saying right now. I have to turn the volume down so the echo is low, but... Are they whispering? They've got to be whispering. You make it sound so easy. Yeah, make it sound so easy. Yeah, hey, fun times. That's what I'm about. Give me a beer and a woman. I'll give that water bed a workout. That's what Meatwad said. He said that. I heard him say it. Take this knife. You can use it to kill guards quietly. Wow, it's like you've done this before. Oh, okay. We gotta wait on him to distract. We got 20 throwing knives right here. Oh, I wonder if I, if I could throw it from there, that'd be something else. Alright. We have a distraction. Get off the wall. Alright, so we're gonna go sneaky sneaky. Shh. Give me some Splinter Cell music. I don't know what is there music in Splinters? Yeah, there is. I remember playing Chaos Theory. Oh man. Oh dude, this guy. Oh, he is so dead. Heal! Oh! Do you know how hard John had to throw that knife to pierce the back of his skull? We got another cat over here. Let's loot the body and get our knife back. Oh man, this guy, he doesn't even know. Right in the back of the head. Oh, huh. That guy's hanging out. Okay, but now we. Alright.
right, we got two cats right here. One. Wow. I don't know how people can't hear this. This is blowing my mind. And then we got this dude up here. Check out this headshot. Gonna blow you away. Nice. Nice. Righteous. Righteous. Oh, sh sh shut up. Shut up. Shh. Loot body. Loot body. Gotta throw a knife back. Where's this other cat? Oh. I see you. And I'm coming for you, man. I'm coming for you. Hey! I missed. Oh god, don't turn around. Hey! Oh! Decapitated. Detach the train car right now, John. Before it's too late. I'd also like to be a stunt man. You know, I do have a, an, adrenal, an adrenaline junkie vo uh, organ to satisfy. You know? Or what, is there anybody else? <gasps> Shh. Shut up. There is a cat up here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shut up. No, no, no. Ah, ah, he heard me. He heard me. Okay, okay. Get on the gun. Kill him. Kill them all. Alright, Metallica. Let's go. Kill them all. Oh my god. There's so many. We're, we're dead. We're so dead. Oh wow. We actually live. It's kind of hard to shoot in the dark. Oh, dude, we got it, man. We're on the run. We're a band on the run right now. Oh, blow it up. Yes. Kills them all. <laughs> what if I kill? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Fire. Fire. You're on fire. And you are dead. Leave the Gatlin gun. Wow. It's already been 15 minutes. That was a long ride over here. Climb the ladder. Alright, you guys ready to rock and roll? Because this is how we do it. One click. Is there another one over there? I think I see him. Oh, there's, there's something over there. I shot you right in the face. How are you still alive? Loot body. Okay, or don't. I don't care. I got this cat. Whoop! 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 Click! Boom! Headshot. I got him. He didn't even know what hit. Oh, dude, is he still alive? There is no way. You you guys saw that, right? You saw it. I dead-eyed him right in the face. And he got back up. With a shotgun! A shotgun! No, it's not a prop gun. It's a shot gun. Man, that guy's tough. Who's I'm half man I used to be? Yeah. What a train ride, huh? Working on a night train farm. Funny how it moves. <laughs> Sex farm woman. Spinal Tap. If you ever seen that movie? I recommend watching Spinal Tap. That's a good movie. Okay, we're almost late for leaving. Come on. Move like a cat onto that train. How long did it, it was like the dead of night when we did that, and it does not take six hours to get from where we were to where we are now. I don't know what John did in the meantime. Maybe somebody will write a book about it. What John Marston did on the train ride to where we are now. All right, let's go pop some 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 caps. I I saw this video. I forget this guy's name. Matthew Centario. He's pretty famous on YouTube. Um, did this video about, I've already forgotten, can you believe that, in trying to remember his name, oh, I just remember. He made like a top 10 list, we gotta get out of here, oh my god. He made a top 10 list of biggest things stolen, and <laughs> one of them was, somebody stole three hundred manhole covers and they he said they all weighed like 300 pounds each or something I think okay this is the first time we do this you gotta you gotta go to the right oh then you gotta go left oh I messed up it's okay it's right first like you'll feel a vibration 
and then you gotta stop. Like right there. And then you gotta go back left. What? No! Okay, now we gotta move it right. Okay. Got it. Now we gotta move it left. Got it. Now move it back right. We're so good at this game. We're the best. This is the only time you get to do this, though, unless you rob a bank. Anyway. 300 manhole covers. And I think it wasn't 300 pounds. It was like 90 or 150. That is ridiculous. Where would you put those? Like, you think, okay... You would, I would, this is what I would do. If I was going to steal 300 man covers, like it just popped into my head, I know what I'm going to do with my life. I'm going to get famous by stealing manhole covers. I would rent out a storage facility. And, I would obviously have to be a big one. So, I don't think storing them would be a problem, but the, the transference of them. Because, car suspensions can only take so much. 300 times, I don't know, on average, 150, 100 to 150 pounds times 300. Hello. What is 300 times 100? 300,000. I think, right? 300 times 100. Right, no, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I am an idiot. That was 300 times 1,000. 30,000 pounds. That's what I was trying to get. Sorry. sorry. 30,000 pounds. Minimum. Because I know he said over 100. I just don't remember. The so, 30,000 pounds at least. So, that's a couple of trips. To the storage. For How do you not see it? Is the bigger question. It just blew my mind. Blew it. Could, couldn't understand it. But we're done. And, you know, I used to be really good at math. And I'm not going to prove my, my math skills anymore. Because apparently I can't add 300,000 Whatever, I missed it by zero. Get over it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Keep it real. And we're done recording for the day. I'm going to jump in the studio right now. Actually, I'll probably jump in the shower and then jump in the studio. So, thanks for watching, guys. Keep it real. And peace.